that seems impossibly high based upon the standards that have been used with prior petitions. On the phone, the Lancaster County Election Commission confirmed it could not validate enough signatures to get a gambling constitutional amendment on the November ballot, but would not provide exact numbers. Douglas County and Sarpy County won't go on record, but won't dispute that our information, roughly 30% of petition signatures in the big three counties, are invalid. Scott Lautenbaugh hopes Nebraska's 90 other counties report strong numbers. Obviously the population centers are where the bulk of the signatures would come from just because that's where people are. But hopefully we can make it up or hopefully we can see if there's something different about how they're validating and sort of have them reconsider that. Here in Douglas County, are you uh, verifying petitions any differently than you have in the past? We are not. Lawtonbaugh says his group requested documents from the Nebraska Secretary of State to make sure the gambling petition is being validated in a way consistent with past petitions. Douglas County Election Commissioner Brian Cruz defends his staff and the process. The way that we're verifying signatures for the gambling petitions, I can assure you, is the way that the individuals in this office, our office, has always verified those signatures and those directives come from the Secretary of State's office to our county. We invested a lot of time and effort and money into getting to this point. We aren't just going to let it go. Lautenbaugh says they vetted petition signatures before submitting them to the state. The Secretary of State's office said it could not comment on our findings until the certified numbers get released later this week. Back to you.